Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Bidding and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful lacy seed beads with pearls. They are easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you wanna support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will see a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now I will start with the list of the materials Okay guys, and what I use for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads, 8mm pearls, ear wires of this beautiful copper color and here I use fire line that is 0.006 inches or 0.15mm and you could use other beading thread of your choice and this is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to take one of my pearls, go through it with my needle, leave here a small tail and now I'm going to pick up nine of these beautiful golden beads. Okay, and I have my nine here and I'm going to slide those down close to my pearl and I'm still holding this tail thread and I'm going back in circle through my pearl still holding my tail thread okay now I have this and now I'm going to take nine more of these beautiful golden beads and now I'm going to take nine more of these beautiful golden beads Okay guys, and I have my nine here, still holding my tail thread, I'm going back through this pearl. And now I have this, okay, now what I do is that I go through all of those beads in this direction. through all of the nine beads and now guys I'm exiting here where my tail thread is and I'm going to stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through this loop I've made okay and what I do is that I pull and I could make one more knot here just to be sure that everything is nice tight and secure this is what i have and now what i do is that i'm going around through all of my beads here at the hole i add one more golden bead then i'm exiting here again and i'm adding one more here where my knot is and pull and now guys i'm going to take two seed beads and i will go back in circle through those two beads here okay and i pull and when I pull, you see what I have. I have a loop of beads here, two by two connected to each other. 
then I go in the following two beats okay like this take two more golden beats okay go back in circle through the following two beats okay you see I have the same thing here then go in the following two okay just like this and take two goldens and go back and now guys I'm going to continue this by going around and adding two beats everywhere until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next see you in a while okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last two beats from this row if you forgot how I did it just rewind the video and see how I'm attaching those beats it's the same everywhere okay now guys what i like to do is flip my work and i want to go here through this golden bead and exit in my outside row okay here i want to take one of these beautiful dark red beads and i'm going through two goldens okay again a dark red go through these two goldens again a dark red go through two goldens a dark red go through two goldens and I will continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And what I want to do is step up in the last row of red beads that I added. And I will do the following thing. I will take a red, a golden and a red. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going through the following red. Then I repeat this, a red, a golden and a red, go through the following and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row, a red, a golden and a red, you see, go through the following and I will do this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last beads from this row. And what I want to do is exit out of my next golden bead here. And what I do after that is take three golden beads, go back through this golden making a cross of four or also called right angle weave okay i'm making a cross of four one golden is here and i'm adding three and i make a cross then i'm going through the following red bead just like this take one red and go in the following red and also, if you can, in one movement, go through the golden as well. Okay, I have this now. And I'm going to take three more golden beads, like this. Go back in circle, through the golden, and if you can, in one movement, also through the following red. And pull. Take one red go through the red and exit out of the golden three golden beads go back through the golden and through the following red 
one red, red and golden, three goldens, golden and red, one red, red and golden, three goldens. golden and red okay guys and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last bead from this row and what i want to do is make an additional step of reinforcing my work Okay, and I'm doing it by going here through this red one and I will go at the edge of my work through the golden beads at the edge and through the newly added row also through the red ones here. You see where I'm going because I want them to stay nice and tight and to be connected to each other. Okay, I will do this reinforcement of the last row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I reinforced my work and I want to attach my ear wire here and I will attach it where the hole of my pearl is because my pearl is not absolutely round here where the hole is it's narrower and that is why I will attach it here at this earring and I also did the same thing with this earring at the narrow part of my pearl and now if your pearl is absolutely the same don't worry, worry where you attach it and now I'm exiting out of this golden bead here at this side and I will choose this to be the front part of my earring because at the other part the knots are more visible. By the way, if you don't want to see any knots, use monofilament like I used here and no thread will be showing. Here for tutorial purposes I use fireline and the thread is shown at some places but not so much. Okay, and now I'm taking my ear wire. And I want to take this red bead and my ear wire in this direction because this will be the front of my earring. And I will take one more seed bead. Okay, a seed bead ear wire and a seed bead. And I will go back through this golden here. And I'm going to pull just like this. Now I want to make an additional reinforcement of my work. Okay, I'm going here through the seed bead and through the ear wire. Okay, now I have this and I will go here to find the place and to make a knot and I'm making here my knot by making a loop and going once going second time through this loop I made pull then what I do is that I go through one of the following seed beads okay I will stick my needle in my mat and I will cut my thread and by the way you could make as many knots as you like but when you're ready always go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now guys my 
lacy pearl beaded earring is ready okay guys and now my lacy pearl beaded earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.